Hey guys, it's Jeremy doing a video based on a suggestion from Facebook. Comment on Facebook. Supplements to help you fall asleep. Uh, I will start by noting that these are supplements that help fall asleep. They do not necessarily... They are not necessarily ways of changing your mind to help you sleep better. Um, it's better to keep them as temporary solutions to not be dependent either physically or mentally. It's a temporary solution. Uh, your best bet is to work with a doctor, maybe a therapist, if you have continual sleeping troubles. Um, easing the mind to easing the mind to not need supplements at all will always be my suggestion. I will basically I will always tell you if you don't have to be dependent on something, don't be dependent on something. Like once you don't need it anymore, let the training wheels come come off. Um, and I am quite certain that others in this field would agree to not have to need something to help your your body to ha have your body do it naturally. Uh, please keep in mind that some supplements can also have, you know, can have this dependency effect. Um, and some, once if you notice that you need more and more, it's usually with the herbs kind of thing, the St. John's Wort kind of thing, that you can get a dependency effect. Either it'll stop working or, you know, you need more to get the same effect, which is not good. You might not be physically dependent on it, but there will be, you'll notice it, uh, a difference. Um, there are several supplements out there that are designed for a depression that also help sleep and also that were designed for sleep and help depression. Um, there is a book out there that I found many, I found it about 11, 12 years ago, The Bible Cure for Anxiety and Depression. I got it at a CVS. I'm sure a Walgreens has it as well. I'm sure you can get it online. Um, Bible Cure for Anxiety and Depression. Uh, very good little pamphlet. Um, so here's an introductory list of things that may help. 5-HTP um, and L-tryptophan. Uh, you've probably heard of L-tryptophan around Thanksgiving from Turkey. Um, they both help to restore serotonin, which in turn helps regulate mood, appetite, behavior, and sleep. But keep in mind that taking too much of these has the possible effect of dependency and also serotonin syndrome which serotonin swings back the other way to having too much uh, symptoms of that include restlessness anxiety rapid heart rate vomiting and in severe cases coma seizures and unconsciousness uh, which is being not responsive you know a, 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 in addition to being not responsive so you have to find that balance you know if you take them both there was that compounding effect, like one and one equals three, not two. So two and two equals six. Um, if you take them together, there can be a compounding effect. So you have to be careful. Um, a normal start to 5-HTP is 50 milligrams three times a day, which over time you can, can convert into 150 milligrams at night before bed. Uh, depending on your body's responsiveness to it, you can go up to 300 milligrams at night. However, see a doctor first. It is strongly suggested not to take these if you are an on antidepressants, partially because of that serotonin syndrome. Lemon balm. Um, it's, this is an herb you can take at uh, level of 300 milligrams two times per day. Uh, studies show a 49% decrease in anxiety and a 72% decrease in insomnia. This works especially well with an herb called valerian root. Um, you will see that in some sleep supplements. Um, you will see it alone sometimes. Uh, magnesium. I'm a very, very big proponent of magnesium for other reasons than sleep. But it is important for... Over 300 chemical reactions in the body. Helps ner uh, nerve conduction among muscles, which is heart, partially. Uh, helps prevent muscle spasm, spasms, heart attack, restless leg syndrome, and relaxes muscles. It also has a big part in nervousness and anxiety. And if taken before bed, can help you sleep. Glycine. 
This is something that helps blood flow, that can drop, it can drop the body temperature, which slows you down, and that's partially how it helps blood flow. Ginkgo biloba. According to a couple of older studies, consuming around 240 milligrams, uh, half an hour to an hour before bed may help reduce stress, enhance relaxation, and promote sleep, uh, because it, it brings blood to the brain. So that's how it brings blood to certain parts of the brain. So there's just a couple of small things. Uh, glycine, ginkgo biloba, magnesium, lemon balm, valerian root, and 5-HTP and L-tryptophan. Um, you know, I do know of a couple of supplements. I will leave them in the description. But again, the best bet, another topic, another video could be yoga meditation, things like that before bed to ease your mind naturally. My doctor did this with me when I lost the weight. He was a proponent of a dietitian. He didn't want me on cholesterol meds. I was on them for a very short time. He took me off as soon as he could to do things naturally. These are only a couple of things. And if you have any questions, let me know.